Wish I could feel what I can't see Float like a butterfly, scream like a banshee Something's hiding in the pantry What the hell is that? Is that an airplane? I swear, everything that could go wrong trying to film a video is today. <laughs> it's pouring rain outside. It keeps going from monsooning to windy and just noisy and everything so i'm gonna try to get through this video as quick as possible because nature is not liking me right now and neither are the people that can be quiet hi everybody and welcome back we are going to be doing a september favorites is it september yes yes it is i hate september i really do i don't like september um my dad passed away on his birthday in september if you can actually believe that the man went out on the day that he came in I think that's pretty cool actually but um it is a month that i don't care for so much but it also holds a lot of birthdays for my family so <sighs> this has been one heck of a month and i'm glad that it's over and it is now october but i have been trying a lot of makeup and a lot of stuff recently and i wanted to let you guys know what really stuck with me and what was really good and what i continued to use this month so if you are interested then let's just go ahead and jump into it and see what i've been loving this month all right so first off uh, let's start with the non makeup -y stuff first this is sema or from a company called sema and what this is is a automatic dermaplaner or peach fuzz remover they're kind of one in the same a lot of people use eyebrow razors and things like that to dermaplane to get the peach fuzz off your face and it's not only because we're youtubers and you know when we take pictures you can see up close pictures you can see people's peach fuzz believe me i've had haters tell me how much peach fuzz i have it's like i know i know i know but it also actually dermaplanes, which takes off the dead skin from your face. And it can be very healthy for your skin. However, I told you guys that I, I figured I had to stop doing it because I was watching a Nicole Guerrero vlog. And she was getting in her facial and the dermatologist and that video said you have to stop dermaplaning because it causes head and acne and will actually break you out and that's what was happening to me in the exact areas that I was dermaplaning so I was like okay well I'm gonna stop but then all my peach fuzz came back and I didn't even have one or two whiskers I'm not gonna lie and I was like fuck that I'd rather have the hidden acne <laughs> but I wanted to go for something a little bit better hoping that it wouldn't have the same bad reaction that using like an eyebrow dermaplaner or whatever peach fuzz you know the little um throwaway ones would be so i grabbed this and it's called sema and it's on amazon you'll see it in an amazon favorites because it's a favorite now this i think it's like around 30 dollars for this it's not cheap but it also comes with seven weeks worth of blades so it's it's definitely worth it if you break it down if you break it down definitely worth it um you have a protective sleeve on this and then you press this button it has three settings and with that kind of buzz it's a friend of mine <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm just kidding but seriously it took me a while to get the hang of this i'm not even gonna lie because with the buzzing i was like wow what do i do what do i do but then it works so good and i have not had the same hidden acne problem i have not a couple places one or two that i find a hidden like acne from where i was using this but that was it and i think it also might be because it's about time for me to change this first blade so i definitely recommend this it's on amazon i believe it is part of prime so if you have amazon prime you will get it in two days if they feel like it <laughs> but it's been a godsend it really really has and you can charge it it's got the usb cable it comes with and everything like that so that is my first favorite my first love um what's on the back of that spa science maybe that's who it's by spa Sci science i don't know but i think that it's amazing so if you like to dermaplane or you do dermaplane but you're not liking those cheaper blades check on amazon they probably have more than just this one 
And by the way, since I forgot to even say it, and I do like to say in the beginning of my videos, I totally forgot. If you are interested about anything that is on my nails, my jewelry, all of this, my makeup, anything, all my clothes, I'm going to have this awesome oh, makeup, of course. Oh, so beautiful. All of that will be listed and linked down below for you guys, along with everything that I talk about in this video for you. So I'll make sure to link everything. It's in the description box. You just press that little pointed V, and it comes down for you. Okay, so I want to let you guys know some nail polishes that I've been loving um, for fall because I really don't do the whole fall. Um, I only wear certain colors of makeup in the fall or lip colors in the fall and things like that. But I do follow that with my nail polishes and I don't know why, but it's just what I feel. You know, I, in the winter, I don't think I, I'd be caught wearing a bright yellow or something like that. You know, so obviously none of these are bright <laughs> but i've been loving them this first one is from pacifica i've had this forever by the way and i have a couple of more these might be one of the best formulas especially at the drugstore of nail polish that i've ever used and it is a seven free pacifica this is just a black with gold glitter in it and it's called lux interior it is so beautiful i don't even know if they have this out anymore if i can find it of course i'll list it but i've been loving that and then this, paired with this, is what's on my nails right now. And this is OPI, the latest and slatest. I love it. It's on my nails now, like the darker one. And then I put it on all of my nails, but then I put on my accent nails. The lighter side of my nail polish is this OPI polish, which is beautiful. And I put it on top of the latest and slatest. And this is Tinker Thinker Winker. Now, I don't know if I can find all of them. They'll probably be on Amazon because Amazon has a lot of ones that are discontinued or limited editions, so forth. So if I can't find them on Ulta or something, I will list them on Amazon. And lastly is this. It's a I Love Nail Polish, ILNP company. They're a little expensive but completely worth it. And you can find them on Amazon or their actual website. I believe that they are like an indie brand for nail polishes, but they are so good and I've been putting this over a lot of my nail polishes lately and this is mega mega is like mega holographic it is so beautiful okay beautiful I have a couple of the ILNP polishes and I think I'm going to get some more because I really do like the formula it reminds me a lot of the Pacifica and that I just I'm I love a lot of nail polishes I used to have like hundreds upon hundreds but the Pacifica nail polish just really stuck out to me. All right, let's talk about some skincare stuff because I am all about the skincare. First of all, the AOA Gua Sha tool. This is back in stock finally. I don't know how long it will stay in stock, but it is my best friend. I use it twice a day, every day, and it has helped me so much underneath my chin to drain things. I mean, I talk about this so much, like so much all the time. After I put on, um, like if I do a mask and then I have the essence on, I will go through and I will just drain. Ugh, ugh. And it does actually make your double chin decrease in size, which is amazing. And then I also go through here, which it creates a curve in your face. I love these so, so much. I want to buy more for backups, but I'm like, will I need a backup? Like, will this break? It hasn't broke on me yet, and I love it. So I definitely recommend that. Even if you're like, I'm not really into face tools, try that out. You you will be. <laughs> okay, and for skincare, let's start with a fail. I have one fail in this video, and I want to share it because it is important. And I need your guys' help. With this one as well my fail is the first sunscreen that I have tried and worn under makeup I don't it I don't know if you all saw the video where I admitted that I don't actually put sunscreen on my face ever and I'm sure a lot of people are like oh, you know like insane crazy like what are you doing that's the first step like everybody knows that but I'm oily skinned and now acne prone so sunscreen is not my friend I got this one I believe on Amazon it's called pure block daily sun cream um it's an SPF of 45 PA plus 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 and it it's actually really good as long as you don't use it and then put makeup on. It's like that white SPF. 
I don't like that. It breaks up all my makeup. It makes nothing stick to my nose. I told you guys that nothing was sticking to my nose and that I thought it was another primer. It's not. It's not the Impossible Primer that was doing it. It was a sunscreen I was using. So now I love the Impossible Primer even more, which we will talk about in a minute. But this bad boy is not my friend and I am on to try a new one. So if you have oily or acne prone skin and you use a sunscreen that is not a million dollars, please leave it listed down below so I can try it because I am in the market. These next three things are loves. Now, um, Influencer sent me this from Tatcha. I was so excited because I don't get to use or try a lot of Tatcha products because they're just so expensive. But they are so luxe and beautiful. Now, this is their new Indigo Overnight Repair Cream. I have used so much of this. Like, so much of it. I love it so much. It is a thicker cream. It does make me a little, like oily on my face at nighttime but I like it I like the amount that it of creamy kind of like greasiness it's on my face at nighttime because then I know that it's like it's it's just sinking in at nighttime while I'm sleeping and that's what I want and I have seen a dramatic improvement in my skin since using this brighter texture all of it even acne wise you know like the and the amount of time that it's taken for my dark spots to go away or for like little spots I have on me, little acne spots to heal up, this I contribute to that. And I know it's expensive. It's really expensive, but it comes with a skincare spoon. It's beautiful, luxe, kind of like glass packaging. I mean, they're amazing. This is amazing. I highly recommend it. And it is a new product, so I did want to mention it in case any of you had your eyes on it because I know a lot of people do love Tatcha and can afford it. So if you can, grab that because even if you have oily skin, it's still amazing. The next thing is from Lumen. Lumen? I don't know. You can get this at Target, but I worked for Skin Store online and they had this, so I grabbed it from their store. I think that it's like 10 bucks on their site or something like that. This is their Nordic Sea Glow Boost Essence. I am right here. I'm almost halfway down on this because I love it so much. It is a little tacky. It's a vitamin C serum. It's hard to find a vitamin C serum that's not tacky. Um, but it doesn't stay tacky. And then it's it's beautiful. It's great. It's fantastic. I love it so much. I will continue to get this. It is a vitamin C that I can handle because when I first started my channel, I was reviewing so many vitamin C's, hair stuff, all that stuff because I was more of a product reviewer on different sites and Amazon than I was a beauty vlogger at first. So I've tried a ton and you, they're very hard to work with. This one is not. And you can also, it's like readily available because it's sold at Target as well if you don't like to order from online sites. And the last kind of like skincare thing, I believe, yes, is my AOA Squalane. I've gone through a couple of these now. This is something I tell you all the time. I love this so much because I take a spatula and I scrape off chunks of it and put it on my feet at nighttime, around my toes, around my ankles, around my heels. And then I put like crew socks on over top of them and that's how I sleep and I find my feet are so soft and pretty looking now I'm so happy with this this has completely helped erase the damage that I did while being pregnant and not being able to reach my feet and take care of it <laughs> it was scary for a hot minute for makeup palettes favorites this month I was trying so many new ones that I didn't have really an existing like this one sticks out to me a lot I used a lot and then I noticed that there were ones that I would always gravitate towards every time I did my makeup. Something I would grab out from every time I did my makeup. So I want to talk about those. The first one is from ColourPop and that is the Lyric Palette. This is very nice. We've talked about this before. It's got a thick kind of acrylic type packaging to it, which I love. But these are such a good formulation. The eyeshadows in here are so amazing and so great. So if I'm getting into a palette that doesn't have these two colors that are performing well or doesn't, or I want something that's going to be like a punch in the face, kind of like my inner corner today, we'll talk about that too. Um, and then if I don't have a gold shimmer that is performing great enough, like I know I can come here because this palette is so good. So good formulation wise. So 
this I definitely recommend getting and I waited a long time to get that that's why I'm talking about it now and you're like that's not a new thing that took me a long time to be like yeah okay whatever it's ColourPop you know I expected the same formulation as their circle panda palettes and it's not it's way better and I don't know why but it's way better and then of course the wet and wild in love with cocoa palette which is like around five dollars I think it's such an everyday palette but the formulation once again is there so good that if I need these colors I will gravitate towards this palette the lyric palette and then the two other that I'm going to show you because the formulation I trust so so much so much so I also have the honey one which that one is really good if you like yellows and golds and stuff like that but this one it, I can do so much with this like it doesn't matter what kind of look I'm going for there is something in this that I can use out of it so and I do so I, I definitely think that in love with cocoa palette is the perfect everyday palette for someone and then lastly these two ZZ now this is a luxury Korean company I believe on Amazon at least that's where I found them um some of their palettes are really really expensive and then you see some of these palettes like this with the acrylic just like the ColourPop ones they're $20 a piece on Amazon $19.99 there's a lot of them I think there's about five I have this one here and it is in I have no idea because it's all in Korean but I will leave it linked down below. Um, this one is so beautiful. This is my newest one that I've gotten. It's like a, a Cinderella type of... It has a mouse inside of a pumpkin carriage. It's really cute. And then on the inside you have a squirrel with a nut. And I mean there's just so much... There's a whole picture in here. And it's all embossed within the eyeshadows. And I think that it is so freaking cool. But is this not the perfect eyeshadow palette for me? warm toned beautiful i mean look at that look at the shifts in those colors when you move it it's so so good the packaging is so good i'm just like why is everyone not buying these and then this one i believe is called rose garden i'm not positive but this one is more of like a tinkerbell it's like tinkerbell way up here and then it kind of falls down and the embossment has Tinkerbell in the middle and then the circle kind of embossment around that as well. But this is more for when I'm feeling like pinky peachy tones. Then I will gravitate towards this one because it performs so amazingly. So $20 for these palettes. They are very slim, easy to carry, easy to store, easy to travel with, everything. And they are only $20 a piece from a luxury company. Highly recommend. Next, primers. Of course, the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. I'm literally almost out of this, you guys. I cannot believe that. I love this so much. And I love it even more now that I know that it wasn't the reason why um, product was not sticking to my nose. I love this so much. It's like a silicone, what we like out of a silicone, but it's not. It's not a silicone. It's not going to clog your pores. It just makes your skin look so good. It is one of the best primers I've tried um so I would highly recommend that and it's like four dollars I think it's just incredible to me wet and wild has done so well this year with makeup that I've completely stopped buying high-end makeup unless it's from TJ Maxx or Marshalls and the next one is from Amuse this the Amuse ones I I held off <laughs> once again for a long time because I'm like I'm not really interested in that and then I grabbed it. It's a color correcting face primer. I got this one in anti redness because right through here has been getting really red on me lately. It's um, oil free. It gives you a healthy look it says. And it's just anti redness. It works so good. So good with, with redness. If you have rosacea I really highly recommend trying this. But they have two other kinds I believe for two other kinds of ailments that you may have or things you're working with on your face and I think that it's it's a go it's definitely a go I mean it's got a little squeeze tube and it's a green primer which if you follow the color wheel the green primer will reduce the redness on things but it's like a lotion mm. and it's that smell of it it smells lightly of like strawberry or watermelon I don't know it just it's so good but the scent goes away once it dries but it's a beautiful primer so highly recommend that uh, I don't know about the other two that are other options within that but I'm guessing since this one is so good that 
the rest will probably be good as well. For foundation, the Forera, Forera, the foundation. This is the darker one because I have the lighter one in another bin because I've been using it while I've been filming. I've used this so much that I have to repurchase it because I'm going to run out of it quick. Run out of it so quick. This is on Amazon. It's not that expensive. It comes with two bottles and a little mini of their um, primer. I don't know how I feel about the primer just yet because it's like a pure just it's kind of like the Smashbox primer. Um, it's clear and it's just like pure silicone. I'm not sure how I feel about it. But this foundation, my goodness, is it full coverage, but it looks so natural. It's like a medium to full coverage, but it looks so natural. You do not feel this on your face at all. And it makes your face look so good. And if you are aging, I highly recommend this. If you're starting to get crow's feet, wrinkles, expression lines, whatever... This does not go in them. I love this so much. And I've never heard of it. Never seen it before. It, I've never heard of anything about this company. I just saw it on a whim on Amazon and grabbed it. And now I, it's like the love of my life. So, just saying. It's perfection. Another Wet n Wild product that has just made it this month is the Incognito um, Concealer. Oh my God. I need to stop filming early in the day because I'm just not awake enough to to deal <laughs> so this actually shocked me and you guys got to see that on camera about how shocked I was about how good this product was I I really didn't think it would be as good as it was but it is so like medium to full coverage but it is more on the moisturizing side than the drier side but the pigment is still there on it and it's so spreadable but it's so good and it really helps me with my under eye problems with my under eye darkness and everything so I'm gonna be buying another one of these maybe even two for backups because this is something that's gonna be in my collection forever wow you're stuck <laughs> another wet and wild product this is the cloud pout this is so beautiful why is no one even talking about these wet and wild cloud pouts I now want this in every color every color it's like a liquid lipstick only it doesn't dry down and it's more it's like lighter it's like you had a liquid lipstick on that didn't dry down but on the lips it looks like you just woke up and you have that pinkness to your lips like that pout like that just powdered pout look it's so pretty that I want more shades I'm so excited about this it's their marshmallow lip mousse it even just looks cute. It sounds cute. Everything is great about it. I love it. Personally, I love it. The rest of the things are all from Shop Miss A. These have been a big love. And it's these four in particular this month that I have used the crap out of. This first one in Chris, I've worn so much. So much. And then we have Reese which is a little bit deeper than that. Oh, so beautiful. And Claire, which is way lighter, but it is just pink enough. It looks so natural on my lips, and I use this one probably the most. And then we have Riley, which this one I use almost the most as well. I just it, They all look like they're about the same color, but they are. there is differences. Slight differences, but differences, none the same. None, none the same. Am I even talking right? Probably not, right? <laughs> this shows the shade range a little bit better for you guys to see, but they are so wonderful. I absolutely love these velvet lips, and I hope they come out with more shades. I mean, they have a ton already, but I want more. Now, on top of it, and what I'm also wearing today is their glosses, because their glosses are not like glosses. They're like liquid lipsticks that don't dry down, but they're not tacky or sticky either. I love these so much. I have three. I think I might just go ahead and buy every single one they have. My favorite is the City Girl, which is this darker one down here. It's more of a nude. But the one I'm wearing today is my newest one, which is in Role Model. And that is what is on my lips today. And I love these so much because I don't really like lip glosses. I, I don't have that many lip glosses in my collection because I'm really not a gloss girl. I put too many things in my mouth. <laughs> to like wearing a gloss but these are so worth it so definitely try them even if you don't like lip glosses because I don't I don't like them either the next thing the 3d foam ink lashes in willow which is what I'm wearing today 
and it's been the one that I've been repurchasing the most from Shop Miss A when I order eyelashes. They are so beautiful and so wispy and they're very small towards the inner corner, which is something that I need, the inner corner in here, because my eyes are pretty small. So if I want to wear a lash, it, it can almost take over my eye. And so I have to watch what kind of lash I will use. And if it's tapered like this, it's perfect. It wisps out towards the end and it just shapes my eyes very well. So I love it in Willow so so much so if you have smaller eyes i thought that maybe you guys would like to grab willow and see if it works really good for you too and the last product is the gov mineral powder these are so good i believe they still have some in stock on the site i highly recommend these i do use the sponge that comes with them i have two of these and i will be hitting pan soon I used it today on my face. Um, the other one that I have is in the basket from yesterday doing my face. I have this in one in my purse. Like, I'm telling you, this is so good. The Giovri Mineral Face Powder. Mm. They don't have great color selections. If you're on the darker skin side, don't even, don't even look. It'll piss you off. But if you do have lighter skin, they have our tones and it's great freaking powder it's amazing so that is everything that i have been loving for the month of september it's a it's a lot it's a lot but um i'm i'm excited about all of it i really am and i'm excited about next month's favorites video um hopefully i will do one because i've been trying so many new items lately and have so much that i'm waiting on trying i cannot wait to talk to you guys about all of that so i will leave everything i talked about listed and linked down below for you guys like I said before, um, thank you so much for watching. If you've tried any of these and have thoughts on them, leave me a comment below and let me know. Tell me some of your favorites and help a sister out and tell me what's a good face sunscreen for aging, oily, problematic skin. Let me know. Unless it's over 50 bucks. I don't even want to hear it. <laughs> thank you guys once again for watching. I, I really do appreciate it. And I, of course, will see you guys in the next one. Bye.